Hi guys, it's Jonathan here. Today, I was actually supposed to go out to buy clothes, but my dumbass ended up buying this. I've been wanting to get like a Polaroid camera since this one came out like a few years ago, but I never got to save up for it. Always like something always came up. And today we were supposed to go buy clothes, like I went out and then just like look for appliances for our kitchen, but I ended up buying this and another camera that I'm gonna be unboxing in another video. So, the packaging is super, super cute. Like, this looks adorable, it's amazing. So here you guys can see the packaging, it's, it's not that big, this is the mini one. It has all the instructions here, some examples of the actual photo size right here. And it is pretty heavy, I also did get a small film one, film one. I also did get some instant film right with it because it doesn't come with any as far as I know. So let's unbox this. Alright, so I do have to do this with just one hand, so it's gonna be pretty hard. I'm just, I'm holding my camera with the other hand, because your man's don't got a tripod, so this is gonna be fun. I always try not to damage the package, like, I don't want to damage the package, basically. I'm struggling. This is actually super easy to open with just, um, when you use two hands, like a normal human being. It has like this little, wow, if it can focus. It has like this little latch here. Also, sorry for the garbage lighting. I don't have like proper lighting yet, so bleh. There's obviously a little cautionary thing, and then right in here is the actual camera, and I'm gonna be taking that out now. All right, let's do this. So as said, the contents are in here, and I'm gonna be pulling out the accessories first. This is, as it says on the box, it's a close-up lens. Let's see if it'll focus. <laughs> Probably not. I'll show it later with a close-up. Then here's the little band you put on your camera, the wrist strap. It has little polka dots, it's very cute. Um, I was torn between getting the cobalt blue one and the ice blue one, but the cobalt blue one just kind of seemed not childish, but it didn't, didn't seem as attractive, let's say like that to me, because I like the ice blue, and it does look different from how it looks on the box. Same with the cobalt blue. The cobalt blue on the box has a much different color than it does in real life. In real life, it's like a deeper baby blue. So there's the camera. It is not that heavy. It seems pretty secure, all in all. So, when you open the box and take out the camera, you get this little thing, which just gives you like a little instruction how to take pictures in several languages, which is the usual. There's obviously more stuff in the packaging. It does come with batteries, which I love, so you don't have to actually buy any. You get a cute little sticker. A logo, and of course... Ugh, yeah. <laughs> that just did what I wanted to do. Um, the thick... Well, it's not as thick, but... Cameras always have thick instruction manuals. So, we're gonna look through this. I just need to find either the English or the Japanese one. <laughs> okay, I found the English one. So on the first page, it just says what everything is with numbers and how to put in batteries. So first it says to push up the battery lock, which is, I'd love to know where, let me see, this thing right here, you're supposed to press on it and pull down, and it opens. I'm going to put that here, it's actually gray on the inside. I like that it's not just ugly inside because I feel like design for a product, especially cameras, should go all the way through. Also, yes, I know opening batteries with scissors isn't going to be the best idea, but <laughs> I crave death anyways. Um, I've never seen this brand of batteries before, but okay. So these are AA batteries, so we're just going to put those in. Plus, I hate putting in batteries. Oh, you need like force to put these in. Like, um, 
especially because this one is gonna pop out if you put in the lower one and they're in and then you're supposed to slide on the battery lid to close it there's a little notch I can't show it well there's a little notch right here where this is supposed to go in so you're supposed to slide it in and okay so it fastens immediately you have like a little clip you don't actually have to press hard or anything so now we're gonna just put that away we're gonna load a film pack so it says to avoid direct sunlight when loading the film pack I have a bunch of lights on when you load the film back, never press the two rectangular holes on the back. The two rectangular holes on the back would be... I don't know which ones those are yet, but we'll see. So, first it says to press on the back cover lock to open the back cover. So that's this thing here. That's actually like it's well, well manufactured, which I would expect, but you know. So, and then you have to hold both sides of the film pack, so mm, that's gonna fall. I'm gonna close this real quick, because it doesn't have as much of an objective here. So, this is the film pack I got. I like this shitty. It's just the black ones. I didn't have the ones with a white rim, and I wasn't gonna go for mint ones or pink ones. They have stained glass ones too and everything. So, this is what it looks like. Take it out. This is terrifying. I've never used a Polaroid camera before. Like, um, I'm only 18, so I've, that's just never been a thing for me. Both both sides of the film pack. Okay, so I'm supposed to just unwrap. The, I'm. Ugh. I'm supposed to. I'm gonna unwrap this and you have to hold both sides of the film pack. You have to align the yellow marks on the camera and the film pack is indexed on the Intex Mini Film Pack instruction and insert it straight. Don't tell me the instructions are inside. No. It's just a guarantee that's inside. Yes, yeah, so it doesn't say shit on it, but <laughs> we'll see. The yellow marks on the camera. What yellow marks? I am stupid. Oh. I don't know if you'll be able to see, but there's a little yellow mark around here. That's where you have to put it in. I'm just gonna put it. No, I don't want to put it down like that. I'll put it on like this. So I'm gonna open this. So you just unwrap it like that. I don't want to put it in the light too much, so you're not going to be able to see what it is. So, you have the film pack, it looks like this. There's a little yellow mark. It says you're not supposed to touch on the back, I think I already did. Um, oh, you're not supposed to press there. And hold both sides of the film pack. And then align the yellow marks. How? Okay, and you're not supposed to press. And then you're supposed to close the lid until it clicks into place. Okay, that's the scary part. And then you have to press the power button to turn the camera on. The flash charging lamp on the left IP starts blinking. Before I'm gonna like go take a picture, I am gonna fasten the little strap here. You can fasten it either on this side or on this side. Yeah, there's no other strap things for it. I don't know which one I'm gonna like. I think this does look cute, but also so does this. I think this is mostly a functionality for like left-handed people and right-handed people. I'm ambidextrous, but for this kind of stuff I do use my right hand. So it's curved like a usual little phone charm. So we're gonna... Oh, it slips right in and comes right out. That's very nice. I, with cameras and other things that use these kind of straps, there's always a problem that sometimes you have to use needles to get it in and you have to be careful, especially if it's more expensive. So I do like that it has little polka dots on it and the little leather and a nice touch. So this does have to be worn in a little, but that's the usual camera cords, cords, straps. So it straps nicely. I have pretty big hands. Um, but it fits me well, I can still hold it fine. 
so we're gonna like try and take a picture but before I'm gonna explain the functionalities that are on here so this here is the brightness dial on the little Instax mini camera it flashes the one that's flashing is indicating which setting you're on currently I cannot talk <laughs> Um, there's an inner one, a cloudy one, sunny and very bright, and my finger is going to cover it, I'm so sorry, and you turn that to focus it on something else. And that's about it. So it comes out like this, and it's very slowly developing. I'm scared to hold it in the light, but it comes out fast. The sound does scare me a little bit, but you can I can literally see it developing, which is crazy for someone who's never like used a Polaroid camera, or even really an analog camera. So I'll let it develop all the way, and we'll see how it looks. So it finished developing. I wasn't using a close-up lens, and you're supposed to have a minimum distance from your subject of 0.6 meters, which is six centimeters, which is uh, not six centimeters, 60 centimeters, which is I think about a foot in non-metric. I no, <laughs> you'll have to like figure it out out for yourself. Um, it only took like. 30 seconds, 50 seconds to develop. Obviously it's out of focus because I didn't use the lens, but for a test I think that's fine. The colors in the picture have the obvious Polaroid effect where the colors aren't completely true to the picture, which I love. It has the faded edges and everything. The back of the foam is like this. It's, it feels like you have to take this off, but I don't think you do. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong. But it's very cute. I won't be taking pictures using a close-up lens because I feel like this is good enough. It's great. I like that these are very small. I feel like you should get like the bigger Intax one if you want to take bigger pictures. But this is very cute for people to keep in their wallet since it's credit card size. And all in all, I love this. I'm probably going to be taking a lot more pictures. For people who are on a budget, this camera is great if you just want to take quick pictures of friends or want to get in on the aesthetic of having a Polaroid. The foam 10 sheets are 10 bucks. Like most where I can find them, they are 10 bucks. Like a pack of 20 is 18 bucks, but that's still a lot. This one itself, I bought it for 80 bucks at a local like tech store, which is a normal price. You can get it for 60 online, but I like buying them in actual stores. I don't know if there are knockoffs to the Fujifilm Polaroids. I wouldn't try it because if it breaks, it's your fault. But it's very cute. I definitely think it's something I'll be using a lot and that I'll definitely get a lot of use out of. I'll definitely be taking a lot of pictures with this because, my god, this thing is so cute. It's Even just as an accessory, it's cute. But it does do its job. I think it's one of the better, the best, like, new Polaroid camera on the market. And when you take a picture, that took a long while, <laughs> when you take a picture and just generally have the camera on, this will be out and you do not press the power button to turn it off. You just do this, which I think is a little weird because I avoid touching objectives and lenses with other cameras because it's scary. But then it's off all the way. It feels very nice to hold. It's, it's definitely been engineered to be held. It's very cute. Fujifilm does sell cases for these, so I might get one of those and kind of review how well it works, if it's comfortable, if I feel safe having the camera in there. But that'd be my little unboxing slash review of the Instax Mini 9. I'm absolutely in love. <laughs>